Shalom ya Shala. Shalom. Berkati ya Hawa, berkati ya Washai. Berkati ya Hawa, berkati ya Washai. Berkati ya Hawa, berkati ya Washai. Ba Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own lives to the four corners of the earth. To the Akwith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the title, the title of this lesson, <coughs> Salak, the title of this lesson, uh, Mainstream News Commentary, right? And, uh, yeah, Tucker Carlson. Is going in on the uh, chariot sightings, right? But uh, we'll watch it. And I don't want Ratazah will uh, attach some scriptures as we go along. True CBS last night. This is a clip from a 60 Minutes report on, of all things, UFOs and the U.S. military. Watch this. <laughs> A Navy air crew struggles to lock on to a fast-moving object off the U.S. Atlantic coast in 2015. Recently released images may not convince UFO skeptics, but the Pentagon admits it doesn't know what in the world this is. Or this. Or this. Oh, UFOs, they're spooky and kind of funny. Crazy people believe in them. Up until you get to the line, the Pentagon admits it doesn't know what in the world this is. And that's where you pause. Because from a national security perspective, that is a very big problem. How big a problem is it? One Navy pilot said that the U.S. military has observed unidentified flying objects maneuvering in restricted airspace off the coast of Virginia, quote, every day for two years. The Pentagon confirms these are images of objects it can't identify. Lieutenant Graves told us pilots training off the Atlantic coast see things like that all the time. Every day. Every day for at least a couple of years. Um, wait, wait a minute. Every day for a couple of years? Mm -hmm. Every day for years. Now, flying in restricted airspace is not a small thing. Try that in your Cessna 172 off Virginia Beach sometime. You will get very wet very fast. You'll be killed, actually. Yet the Pentagon, after every day for two years of daily incursions, didn't appear to do anything about it. Why didn't they? We're just guessing. One possible explanation, they couldn't. Our military was completely outmatched technologically by whatever these were. And whatever they were, they were not weather balloons. Here's Lou Elizondo, the former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. You know how this sounds. It sounds nutty, wacky. Yeah, look, Bill, I, I'm, not, I'm not telling you that, that it doesn't sound wacky. What I'm telling you is real. Imagine a technology that can do six to 700 G-forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that uh, it can evade radar, and that can fly through air, and water and possibly space and oh by the way has no obvious signs of propulsion no wings no control surfaces and yet still can defy the natural effects of earth's gravity that's precisely what we're seeing let's get a scripture right and uh isa edom right the ruling class elites know know, know what's up but uh you know the, the, the mighty men of Isa within his military, they don't know what's up. You know what I mean? And uh, we know it's the chariots of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Based on the scriptures, man. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 13. Right? And these, these, these Edomites, Isa Edom, his mighty men, are, are awestruck. Right at this at the maneuverability of of, of the chariots with the world it may cause you foes. Right, its speeds, what it's doing. 
Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 13, and it reads, Behold, right, behold meaning look, he shall come up as clouds, right? Who, who, who's this he? Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and the hosts of heaven, right? And these clouds being 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 his chariots, right? He shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind, right? His chariots, the vehicles of the Most High, Yahweh Shemel Shai. These vehicles being being driven by the hosts of heaven, the holy angels, right? And his chariots his chariots shall be as a whirlwind, right? His horses are swifter than eagles, right? Their capabilities, their speed. Their their movements, right? This guy, this 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 mighty man of Esau right here. Uh, let's play it again. If I can get it, uh, cue it up at the right spot. Natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. Radar, and that can do six to seven hundred G. That it doesn't sound wacky. What I'm telling you, it's real. Imagine a technology that can do six to seven hundred g-forces that can fly at thirteen thousand miles an hour that uh, it can evade radar and that can fly through air and water and possibly space and oh by the way has no obvious signs of propulsions no wings no control surfaces and yet still can defy the natural effects of earth's gravity that's precise yeah he said imagine a technology this is a technology right here jeremiah 4 verse 13 once again Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us. Woe unto who? Esau, Edom, Babylon the Great, America the Great. Right? You, you ruling class elites. Right? Right? Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. Right? And this is, the, and this is what this, this is what these chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahashire are coming to do, man. To spoil America the Great, Babylon the Great, to lay waste to this place. Right? Isaiah Salat Daniel. Touch on some precepts, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right? The Father and the Son. Yahweh being the Father. Meaning he exists. Who the world everyone calls God, Yahweh Shai, being the Son, meaning He delivers, He saves. Who the world ignorant recalls Jesus. Daniel chapter seven, verse nine, and it reads, and this is a vision of Daniel, the prophet. Right, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Right, who is the Ancient of Days? The Father, Yahweh. Right. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the, like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. His wheels. That's the chariots right there, man. Right? His wheels, his chair his wheels, his chariots, like a burning fire. And this is this is, these are the this are the words within the prophet Daniel's reality at the time. He's using to describe what he was seeing in the vision. Right? Verse 10. Daniel 7 verse 10 a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him right that's that concentrated heat those laser beams right from the chariots with the world it would cause UFOs thousands thousands ministered unto him and ten thousands time times ten thousands stood before him the judgment was set and the books were open right an innumerable, an innumerable amount of chariots, right? Thousands, thousands ministered unto him, right? The holy angels, and ten thousands times ten thousands stood before him. Verse 13 I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. One like the Son of Man. This is the Son. Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves, who the world even calls Jesus, right? So now we're establishing a, 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 a separation here, the Father and the Son, right? 
So now they're talking about the son here, right? Verse 13, once again, Daniel 7, verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man come with the clouds, the clouds, the chariots of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, right, came to the Ancient of Days, his father, Yahweh, meaning he exists, who the world even calls God, right? And came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him, right? <clears throat> the father came to the son, Salak, the son came to the father. Right, this is what Daniel saw, man. Let's get another scripture, Proverbs. Right, and this is what Esau, Edom, is seeing, right? With these chariot sightings, man, they're seeing these chariots, man. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4, and it reads, Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended, right? Who, 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 who's ascended, gone up, fl flown up into heaven? Right? Right? Or descended, came down out of heaven. Right? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth, right? Who's done this? Who's established? Who's built? Who's made? Who's made the earth? Who's made the heavens? Who's made? Who? who, who who's made uh, the, the 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 sea, the earth, the sky, the heavens? Who's made all of this, right? Who, who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Right, Yahweh. And what is his son's name? Yahweh Shai, if thou canst tell, right, us in this truth, we've been given the names of the Father, Yahweh, and the Son, Yahweh Shai. Let's continue with this article. I see what we're seeing. Sound like a potential threat, you think? So what has the Pentagon done about it? Well, we don't know the full story as of tonight, but we don't know that they've done anything about it other than ignore it and then cover the fact they ignored it by declaring the whole subject classified for decades, and then spending the rest of the day thinking about how to bomb Syria again and rid the Marine Corps of people who voted for Donald Trump. The sad thing is we have a whole new branch of the military that might be perfectly designed to assess what these things are and figure out if they're a threat or not, and maybe respond. <clears throat> if there was ever a reason to have Space Force, this might be it. But Space Force is otherwise occupied these days. They're busy conducting political purges of their own ranks as all the branches of the military are. Here's Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer. He commanded a Space Force unit until the White House decided that his politics were not acceptable. Hmm. Since taking command as a commander about 10 months ago, uh, I saw what I consider fundamentally incompatible and competing narratives of what America was, is, and should be. Uh, that wasn't just prolific in social media uh, or spreading throughout the country uh, during this past year, but it was uh, spreading throughout the United States military. And I had recognized uh, those narratives as being Marxist in nature. So every day for two years, unidentified flying objects behaving in ways that seem to contradict what we know about physics. And the U.S. military is spending its time as of right now purging its ranks. What does this remind you? Maybe the Soviet Army, 1938, a clear and present Threat appears on the horizon, but the people in charge are so obsessed with political purity and loyalty to the party that they can't respond because they're absorbed in attacking their own organization. When they say that all revolutions are the same, they're right. UFOs, it turns out, are real. And whatever else they are, they are a prima facie challenge to the U.S. military. They are doing things the U.S. military does not allow, and they're doing it with impunity. And they appear to be focused on the U.S. military. UFOs for decades appear to have clustered around our military installations, our ships and our aircraft, with no real response. Yeah, and, wh and, why are, and why are they focused on, on, on America's military, America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? Why, they, why do they appear around military bases of, of America the Great, Babylon the Great? Ezekiel chapter 35, we have the answer right here. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 2, and it reads, Son of man, Set thy face against Mount Seir, right, Mount Seir. Right, and, and who was Mount Seir? Let's get, let's, let's get that. 
edify the sheep, feed the sheep, feed the lambs, the simic. For those new coming in the truth, you know what I mean? Genesis, uh, Genesis 25, verse 25, and it reads, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, right? This is the first son of, 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 Salak, of, Salak, tongue twister. This is the first tongue, first son of Abraham, right? Salak, Abraham begat Isaac, Isaac begat, begat Jacob and Esau. This is the first son of e Isaac, right? And the first son, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they call his name Esau, right? Red like a hairy garment, Esau, right? His younger brother, Jacob, right? Now let's go into uh, Mount Seir. Genesis chapter... Genesis chapter Isa is Mount Seir. Bear with me, brothers. Akim and Aquas. Genesis 36 verse 8, thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, right? Esau is Edom, Esau Edom, right? The so-called white man, right? Babylon the Great, America the Great. Ezekiel 35 verse, verse, verse 2, and it reads, Son of man, set thy face against, them, against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, right? Prophesy against, uh, against Mount Seir, right? Speak about the downfall of America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? Speak about the destruction that's coming from for America the Great, Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom. Right? And say unto it, verse 3, and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh Power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. Right? The Most High, Yahweh Beshimel Shai, is against Esau, Edom. Babylon the Great, America the Great. So called white man. And I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Right? Ultimately, America the Great, Babylon the Great will be destroyed with thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. Alongside the chariots, with the world, they may cause UFOs with that concentrated heat, the laser beams. Right? Let's continue. Response, except more secrecy. At one point, unidentified flying objects apparently shut down a nuclear weapons facility at an Air Force base in the state of Montana. Ten ICBMs. In at SAS, we love bold questions, outrageous and impossible questions, because space isn't the new frontier. Ballistic missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, were temporarily knocked offline. At the same time, base security noticed a glowing red object floating in the sky. It sounds like out of a movie, but it happened. That was decades ago. Many more UFOs have been sighted near our nuclear weapons facilities since around the country. According to journalist George Knapp, quote, all of the nuclear facilities, Los Alamos, Livermore, Sandia, Savannah Hill, all had dramatic incidents with these unknown aircraft appearing over the facilities, and no one knew where they were from or what they were doing there. Again, for decades, this has happened. Apparently, unknown aircraft, right? Unidentified phenomena. Right, unidentified flying objects. Right, so-called. 
Isaiah 31 verse 5 and it reads as birds flying as birds flying right so will the Lord all caps Yahweh of hosts hosts being armies defend Jerusalem defending also he will deliver it right so the Most High is going to defend Yasharala right the beginning with the elect the elect the Most High is going to defend the elect the elect of of, 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 of of his people Israel Israel being a people before a place right he's going to defend it as birds flying so will the Lord of hosts Yahweh Bashem Yahushai of hosts defend Jerusalem defending also he will deliver it right he's also going to deliver it man right and how is he going to deliver it And passing over, he will preserve it. Right. He's going to deliver it and preserve it. Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 1, and it reads, And this is how the Mosai is going to deliver his elect. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as, of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his, of his labors. Right. The righteous. Who's the righteous? The elect. Standing in great boldness, right? Prophesying the down, the, the prophesying the downfall of Esau, Edom, America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? Standing in great boldness, right? Standing in great boldness of those uh, of those that afflicted him, right? Right, and who and who's afflicted? Who's afflicted, Jacob? Israel, Yasharala, Israel being a people before a place. Esau, Edom, man. You so called Edomites. You, you, so, you so called white man. You Edomites, right? Verse 2 When they see it, they shall be troubled with fear, with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, right? So, deliver, deliver the, in, the, in, the, in, in the face of all his enemies, man. Right? And when they see it, they shall be troubled with great fear. Right? So all these other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom, is going to see the deliverance of the elect. Right? And be amazed at it, man. Right? Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 2 once again. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strange, at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. Right? This is what Esau, Edom, beginning with Esau, Edom, along with these other nations. This is what they're going to be saying, man. Shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in division, derision and a proverb of reproach, right? They're gonna they're gonna be like, yo, man, we we this this so called Negro, this so called Latino, this this so called indigenous, so called Native American, this is him. We fool, verse four, we fools accounted his life madness, and his end to be without honor, right? And, and this is what Esau Edom has always done, man. You know, a proverb and a byword, a reproach, right? When it when it when it when it came to the uh, uh, us Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, right? Verse five: How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh, and his lot among the saints? Right? How 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 is it him, man? Right. Second Thessalonians, so like first, first Thessalonians four verse sixteen, and it reads, "For the Lord Himself, right, Yahweh Shai, shall descend from heaven, right, come down, crack that, crack that sky, show Himself, come down out of heaven, out of the sky, right, with a shout, 
with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of, 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 of Yahweh, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, right, that's the elect, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, right, that's the elect being beamed up into those chariots, caught up together, caught up together with them in the clouds, right, the holy angels, Yahweh and the hosts of heaven are going to beam us up into the chariots to meet the Lord, right, Yahweh in the air, we're going to meet Yahweh in the air, right, Thus saith the scriptures, and so shall we ne and so shall we ever be with the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Right? This is this is written, man. Right? This is written. This is what we have to look forward to, man. Simi. Right? But yeah, let's sit on that. I just wanted to touch on that. Right? These devils. They are uh, Esau's mighty men, his military, they don't know what's going on, man. Right? His ruling class, they 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 know. They know what's going on. But uh you know, Esau eat them. Yeah, Revelation, Revelation 11, verse 12, and it reads, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, right? And who heard this great voice, who, who, who heard this great voice from heaven? The, the, the elect, right? The elect, right? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, right? That's, that's being beamed up into the chariots, men, to meet our Lord in the air, Right? And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, right? We ascended, we ascended up into the skies in a cloud, in a chariot. And their enemies, right? All these other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom, right? And their enemies beheld them, right? And their enemies saw this, beheld them. Right? This is what we have to look forward to, man. Isaiah 26, verse 20, and Lord willing, we're of that number. The election, right? The elect shall be saved out of it, man. Isaiah, Isaiah 26, verse 20, and it reads, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, my people, the elect. Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee, right? And that's, that, that's these chariots, man, right? Enter into thy chambers, the chariots. Right? This is when we're beamed up. Lord willing, we're of that number. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the, indi until the indignation be overpassed. Right? We're going to be beamed up in the, in, in, into the chariots while the destruction is taking place. Right? The indignation, the righteous anger of, the righteous anger of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Let's close out. Matthew 24, verse 31. Close out with this one. Powerful scripture. Matthew 24, verse 31. It reads, and it's red letter. Our Lord said, it's Yahweh Shai. And he shall send his angels. Matthew 24, verse 31. Salak. Matthew 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. Right? The sign of Yahweh Shai. In heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, right? The tribes of the earth are going to, you know, mourn, wailing, crying, right? Out of, out, out of shame, out of fear, right? And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, right? Coming, coming in the clouds of heaven, coming, the, the chariots, the hosts of heaven with Yahweh Shai, our Lord, coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, right? The whole sky is going to be covered with chariots, men. With Yahweh Shai and the chariots. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. 
and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, right, from everywhere on this planet, from the four corners from where we are scattered. Lord willing, we're of that number. From the four winds, from one, from one end of heaven to the other, right? And, then th and this, is, this is what the chariots and Yahweh are going to do, man, the chariots. These chariot sightings, this, these are the vehicles of, of, of the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yahushai. I pray you're edified. I don't want to write to Zaz, pray it, pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala, Wa, Abad, Babal.